Hello everyone, welcome back to P Mr P. Just before we start this video and explain the game, I'd like to do a couple of quick shout outs. Hi to Bill, uh, Lewis and Harvey, all from Beach Grove. Had a few comments and chats about some of their games, how they're getting on. Uh, Lewis has got his own golf set, which is great. Perfect for golf in the back garden. And Harvey's asked me to play a game called Ladders. Uh, it's going to be quite difficult, Harvey, because we need a few players for Ladders. need nearly a, at least 10 players or so. So instead, uh, I'll compromise and I'll teach you how to play Take It or Leave It in the next couple of videos. Uh, also, a couple of shouts to some former students that have also been enjoying the games, which is great to hear. Hi, Luke and Olaf and a few others. The game I'd like to show you today is a game called In the River on the Bank. Uh, hopefully behind me you can see I've got a little line of cones. I've actually rolled up a towel. You could even use the edge of a patio where the patio meets the meets the grass. Basically, you need a straight line and you're going to pretend one side is the river and one side is the bank. So as you probably guessed, this game is called Riverbank. Uh, for those of you that play this in schools, we play this quite a lot either at the start of the lesson or at the end as a little listening game to see who's listening in the wake. Uh, we're going to start with the initial version, so I'll be joining in and showing you, then I'll do a quick quick chat to you and see if I can catch you out a couple of times, and then I'll tell you a couple of progressions to make this harder as well. So what we're going to say is, when I'm standing, this side of the the cones and the towel is going to be the, the bank, so I'm going to start on this side, and then this side of the cones is going to be the river. Now when I shout in the river, all I've got to do is jump from this side over onto the other side, actually into the river. When I sit on the bank, jumping back onto the bank. I prefer people to jump forwards and backwards. You can do a little side jump if you like, but what we don't want to do is turn and twist. Uh, again, if you are inside, if you might be on a slippery surface, just be careful that you're wearing sensible footwear and you're not going to slip over and so on. If you haven't got a towel or cones, you could obviously make a skipping rope. Um, you could draw a line again on your patio, or you could just use a, a, a join where the patio meets the, uh, the grass, etc. So, in the river on the bank. So I start this side and say in the river, it's just a case of jumping over into the river, say on the bank, that behind the line. Obviously to start we'll take it nice and easy, so we'll go in the river, in the river, ha <laughs> ha, on the bank, and again, on the bank, any of you jump, in the river, on the bank, in the river, on the bank, we're getting a bit faster now, ready, on the bank, ha ha ha, trick you again, in the river, on the bank, in the river, on the bank, in the river, in the river. Okay, so obviously as you're playing that, you can take it in turns. If you've got, as a family, you can have two or three of you jumping and one person being the caller. You can keep taking it in turns. If you catch people out, they can lose lives, they can be eliminated. If you wanna make this a little bit harder, uh, a couple of versions you can do. First one is you can change, instead of saying uh, in the river or on the bank, because it's quite a long, long uh, sentence. Not really, but you know what I mean. You can change it to river and bank. So if you're standing here, you can say river, bank, river, etc. And if you want to make a pretty tricky version, you can play the opposites, which is always quite hard once you've got used to the game. So obviously if I was standing here now, this now becomes in the river and that one becomes on the bank. So you can obviously swap it up. Okay, enjoying the river on the bank. <laughs> 